Hello and welcome to the FIA Truck Racing Championship. Yeah. Remember the Iron Knight and the Tank Pool Racing Truck? You actually see it right there. Yeah, from Forza. Yeah, there's a whole racing series of those. It, it, it's insane. And they made a video game off it. And this is actually not the first um, racing truck racing game out there. Uh, I remember many, many years ago. I'll tell you how many years ago. Without telling you it's the year, because I rented a truck racing game, I don't remember which one specifically, for the PS2 from Blockbuster Video. That's how old this racing series is, because proof that humanity will race literally anything, including massive semi-trucks around some of the world's most prestigious racetracks. Now, this game for a little while at the time of recording this, is free on Xbox. And, well, I'm open to trying new things, and if it's free, I'm not going to complain. It's an interesting game. I like it. We have two different options. First off, we're going to be doing a bunch of quick races because I'm not doing the career. You know, the World Series of Trucks and the European Series of Trucks. I don't know what the difference is. Um... We're going to go with this one first. The trucks, as far as I'm aware, are pretty much all the same. There's none that are any, like, specifically better than the others. There's none that are, you know, crazy. So whichever one takes your flavor for styling, I guess. What should we go with? Yes. Yes. Let's go with that one, Mr. Ryan Smith. All right. And there's, and you know, props of this game, there are a lot of different racetracks. This is in Italy, I don't, I've never heard of that one. There's the Hungarian Speedway, which is also a track I've never seen. The Slovakia Ring, of course, Nürburgring GP. And Autodromo Moist in the Czech Republic. Or Czech Republic, yeah, Czech Republic. Then we got Zolder, uh, Le Mans Bugatti Circuit is what it's called in um, Forza. Then we have that. Um, okay, I yeah, cool. We have Laguna Seca. We'll get to that one eventually. Uh, Argentina's Buenos Aires. Sorry, I've heard of that one. Fuji, Sir of the Americas, and Canadian's Motorsport Park. I think we're going to start off with Circuit of the Americas. Because I actually know what I'm doing on that track. Now you can change the weather. It can be clap. Oh, it can be wet. We'll have to get. We'll, we'll, we'll do clear sky for now. There's a whole lot of options. There's you have a maximum of 12 drivers, including yourself. We're gonna start at the very back of the field to make it a little more difficult. You can have 160 km an hour speed limit. That is for the weak. We're not gonna deal with that. And since the um, speed limiter will exceed that. I'm not going to have the speeding penalties. Uh, clutch penalties? No, because uh, these are racing trucks and they're supposed to be banged around, damn it. I'm going to keep these two on and I'm not going to keep that on because I might leave the track like an idiot. So, there we go. Let's head to Surf the Americas 3 laps. It's quite a long track. We'll see uh, how this goes. And we'll quickly find some interesting aspects. There's really one very key interesting aspect about the World Series of Trucks when it comes to racing. Because I know very, very, very little about these vehicles. I know they have a very good center of gravity for what they are. I know they're ridiculously powerful, even torquier than that. And they can have massive, crazy wings on it. Which is always a good thing. Sadly, these don't have it. You can do this. I don't know anything about any of that, so we're not going to touch that. And so we're just going to start the race off. Now, you notice in the corner, all right, I can move, that's good. It has a water thing because these are massive trucks. And massive trucks require very big brakes to, to stop a lot of weight going very quickly. And that means they get very hot. There is a car on my inside. I can't do that. Yep, so we have to hit B on my... We're three wide, almost four wide. Um, you have to hit... Oh, no, I'm getting turned. Ah, 
You have to hit B in order to cool your brakes down. Someone's having a bit of an excursion. There's someone still on my inside. You might be able to get the run on this guy. Chuck it up the inside. That's a little bit of a bump. I'm actually... Okay. Hey, hey, hey. There has been some mild body contact. I'm, I missed a gear. No, 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 we're drifting. No. We're all good. I I didn't really have much of a say in that, to be honest. I'm getting bullied. That's what's going on here. I'm getting bullied. I'm trying to explain how the water braking system works. But um, it's being a little bit difficult because we're sort of in chaos right now. <laughs> I think that's the word to describe what's going on now, is absolute anarchy. I have done a little bit of practice, I should say. Ah! I'm drifting, I'm drifting, we're good, okay. That's terrifying. That is one thing I'll, I am not a big fan of, is the lack of force feedback for the wheel spin, I should say. I don't have much feeling in the regards to the traction, but you saw there, the brakes overheating. I need to hit the B button to cool, to put nice cool water on my brakes. And we have a brilliant run on this guy, yes. And we're just gonna break a little bit early. My truck has just activated, you know, VTEC, apparently. Now you don't wanna just flood your brakes because it will, yeah. That, I'm not very good with that, I'm still not very good with that. Um, it will drain your water tank very, very quickly. I don't know if the water tank changes depending on the length of the race. I would assume it would, because otherwise it would be impossible to do five, ten lap races. Ah! I'm driving a Toyota GR86, because it's just sliding. Am I three? Are we three wide? No, we're only two wide. Okay, much more reasonable in trucks. <laughs> much more reasonable. I do at least have the inside, though. That is good. Yeah, I'm not very good at managing the water. It's very, I find it very easy to suddenly lose all of my water by holding the button down a bit too long. So maybe I'll get better at that as this video goes on. Because you see, I see the brakes overheating. I'm like, oh, I need to stop it. But I, I really don't. Because I can make that corner just fine. I don't need to do it for this one either. Now, we are gaining on this side, heading at a poor line. That's good, that's good for us. I'm actually going to cool my brakes down here. A little bit of a squeegee there. There we go, we're nice back in the green. That is lap two. Alright, time for lap two. Yeah, I have a five cent penalty, that doesn't matter. I can't, I'm not going for the inside there, that's stupid. I'm already stressing out on my brakes. I might be able to do a sneaky up the inside. I mean, technically... And he got the position back. It's fine. It, it's fine. It's, it was it was light body contact, relative speaking. I am just getting massive oversteer in this vehicle. I never thought a truck would be so oversteer around the outside. That was a very that was actually a very good over. I'm very impressed that stuck. I'm actually surprised that got that made it there. Well played, truck. Well played. Now, if we just do a brilliant run here, I'm, I'm drifting, I'm drifting, oh dear. That, ow. That was not, I, that was not an overtake, I repeat, that was not an overtake. That was an incompetence. Uh, I'm bump drafting, I'm, I'm, he's cutting a massive hole through the air, which is good for me. I might be able to dive up the inside, maybe. No, I can't do that. I'm uh, I'm up the end. Okay, the next oh, I'm, I'm gonna give that position back. There we go. Position given back. I do not feel terrible. Oh, I'm scared. I don't have much water left. It's been a great battle for you know sixth through eighth, but um, I don't think we're getting a top five anytime soon. Now, if we just Yep, 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 yep. Yep, that's that's worse, yep. We made a lap on less than half a tank, but um we are rapidly running out of water. Uh, he locked up, he locked up I'm gonna take it up the inside. I feel like I'm being a terrible person, but I'm just Ah 
Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't. I. I did not feel like that was sliding at all. I, it's sort of the visual you have to look at because you see yourself turning, then you just see that you're not doing this. You're not moving the joystick, and it continues to steer. And that's how you know you're getting over to it. There's virtually no force feedback until you get on the drift. That is my biggest complaint with this racing game is that I have no concept of what the rear tires are actually doing and in a vehicle of this oversteer you really need that because it does not feel like I'm getting oversteer it does not feel like I'm pushing this vehicle particularly hard and yet I'm apparently right there on the limit also the person is very annoying now we have a very good run in the sky very good run uh, goodbye, loser. Never mind. We're, we're sort of evening out now. Okay, there we go. Get the VTEC kicking in. Yes! And do they, like, not have their speed limiters disabled or something? Is he gonna go up the inside? He's gonna go up the inside. Ow! I guess that's fair. Ow! <laughs> So that's what that feels like. Okay. We can't quite go flat through here. We're sort of... I'm very hesitant to go flat anywhere now because of the terrifying overseer that I can't comprehend. We're gonna go... We went around the outside that corner last time. Now we're up the inside. These guys are not as quick as the previous group. Ah, I don't know if I was touched there. I, I'm not gonna go up the inside there. We're gonna... Cut back, thank you very much. Ah. I don't like this truck. It's probably very spectacular to watch because I am just drifting like a maniac in a several ton vehicle. But it's slightly terrifying is the actual phrase that I'm looking for. Slightly, completely, utterly terrifying. Yes, I know, my brakes are boiling. Ah! You made it, we're good. Cool, we're gonna let the straightaway cool everything down because we have a very big braking zone coming up. The last one, in fact. We need to be five seconds clear of that man, and we're not. We're not. Also, three laps around Kona was very, very long. I did not mean for it to be that long. I'm not used to a vehicle being this slow. I mean, it's 170 kilometers an hour, which is very fast. Oh, yep, that's that's bad. Ah. There we go. Water tank is empty. I have actually exploded my brakes. They, I actually damaged them properly. So that is very much doable in this game. But, um, I don't think we'll have this problem now because it is so late in the race. Curves are bad. Curbs are bad in the big truck, apparently. He's locked up. I can sneak it up the inside for Stemming's place. Yes. Uh, thank you. Thank you, good sir. I mean, it's been a great... No, stop drifting. That corner really hates me. That corner really hates me. Stop giving me penalties for something I have no control over. Ah, uh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yes, brakes, thank you for telling me the brakes are overheating. Again. It doesn't matter though, we can slip and slide all we want. Try to hold your position. We are going to finish cool. in a seventh position, just about keeping our brakes alive. He can't do anything. There we go. That was actually a brilliant race. I didn't expect that to be such a good race, but it was. That was amazing. <laughs> I was terrible, and I spun out, but that was pretty good. Welcome to Slovakia and the European Racing Truck Championship. I chose this one in particular because the truck can have an almighty rear wing. Yes, please. So we're gonna race the almighty, the, the almighty wing will give us the grip that we were sorely missing in the last race. So we're in two laps of the six mile, six kilometer long Slovakia ring in guess where else, Slovakia. Try out the different class of trucks, thought it'd be a little bit more fun. 
Yes, we will see. I'm not very quick, probably because of the added drag of the almighty rear wing, but it is worth it. Also, this thing is very fast, 190 kilometers an hour. Christ. Don't completely use all of our water up in the first lap. A little bit of sideways action. We're three wide. We're about to just, we're gonna block the other guy in. We're gonna make our way nice. There we go, we got a, quite a few positions in one shot there. Now we just, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Uh, I'm going off the track at this rate. Run wide, we're good. Kept it on the track just about, it was a terrible line. But we did just about keep it on the track. Can we go for up the inside here? Yes, we can. The VTEC from the almighty player-driven truck. I held that button way too long, God damn it. <laughs> just gonna give you a little bit of a hurry up bump, a little bit of oversteer. It, it feels a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. It might just be my experience with the trucks now, having a little bit more. I did, again, I did do some practice beforehand. Oh, that's not flat out. Oh, so there's been an accident. There's been a horrific accident. Someone just speared off left. I do like that about this game. That's another point that I like is that the AIs do make mistakes. They're not, you know, perfect machines like Gran Turismo or um, certainly Forza. Forza has a massive problem with that nowadays where you put on unbeatable and they just fly off in the distance. Ouch, I think is the phrase. Look, I put on um, visual damage only. No, stop drifting. I ha you have a rear wing on. I'm going to get a penalty for it, aren't I? I'm not. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm going to use a little bit of a, use a little dab with the water. And then try and keep it alive for, you know, most of the lap. Oi. A little bit of a sideways moment there. We're in the mid pack right now. We're... They're sort of running away from us. We're also sort of running away from the uh, guys behind. We're sort of in a no man's land. Hopefully it won't stay that way. I do, yeah, and that guy's a long way back. That guy is a long way back. Yep, water tank captain. Ah, I was looking at the water tank and not where I was going. No, no truck, no. Try and pick up the pace. You, thank you. You're so encouraging, you utter horrible person. Can I fire my my commentator person, please? Because they're just a, a horrible person. They're just the worst. Why do I have a penalty? I'm, I got, what, a three-second penalty for cutting the corner? I don't remember. I get so many penalties in this game, I can't keep track. Well, we have another recovery drive. We have one lap to hopefully not suck, make up some positions. We seem to be, we seem to be very good at making our way right into the mid pack, and then we get stuck. Then we get stuck. Hopefully, it doesn't end up that way, but we shall see. We're gonna do a little bit of a lift. There we go. Nice. We carry the speed. Carrying 170 kilometers an hour through that corner, which means we get mega speed up to these guys. A uh, goodbye and break. Don't hit those things. Oh, there's been everyone has fallen off. Everyone has fallen off on that corner. It's, it's it's just it's just it's just death. That's they're they're all, they're all in the wall. Okay, all right. We're all we're under control again. I speak don't speak too soon. We've been drifting like a psychopath. We are not Ken Block here. We are some truck driver. Uh, he's probably very famous in the trucking world. And we're just gonna sneak one up the inside. A little late. Water tank almost empty. That's fine. It's almost the end of the race. He's gonna get a cut back on us. He's on the inside, but I have the run. And he is going to lose that position. That was a very good overtake, actually. Now, don't hit the... He's going to try one. Nope. I can see that little arrow fluttering about. We might actually keep our brakes alive this time. We won't run out of water. Because we only got a few more corners to go. Technically, one more corner if you count that, that thing as a hairpin. He is right on our tail, though. He is right there. <laughs> 
Okay. The good news is we have some water to sponge. So we can cool our brakes down nice and proper. Which means we can brake late, dig deep. Water tank empty. Literally don't care. Because we're just going to shock it about, apparently. And will that be enough? He is not going to have an answer. He is not going to have an answer. We will finish in a nice, respectable sixth place. Helped out by everybody falling off the course at the exact same time. But I am not going to complain. That was a decent recovery. Let's hope we don't have to do another recovery drive, because... That would not be fun. Yes, for our final race, I decided to up the stakes, not just with the number of laps, we're doing three this time, because it's a shorter circuit, but also in terms of difficulty. We got Laguna Seca, an incredibly difficult, technical, challenging racetrack, and it's raining. I know that's not possible in California, but it's raining. So, here we go. How bad can it be? Maybe I can actually finish a race without pointing backwards. I highly doubt that being I spin out in the dry, but we're gonna give it a go. I have no idea what the carousel is gonna be like in trucks this big. I don't even know if trucks race on this circuit in real life. If they do, that is a sight to behold. And I want, I would pay to watch that. We're gonna, can we sneak up the inside? Nope. Yeah, lay off. I'm saying, can I have like a bucket on the roof of my truck that catches the rainwater and refills my brake water cooling system? Because that would be that would be some Clarkson level engineering. We're going up the inside, a little bit of a scrape, nothing too shabby. Nice, relatively clean overtake in my relative to my previous overtakes. He's running a little bit wide. Let's see if we can capitalize with a better run. He has, a, he has a very good run on me, though. The wing does not help my rear visibility, but it helps my handling, and that's a good thing. Yes, we have a very good run on this guy. We have a very good run, but he's, he's covering... Um, we don't want to have enough. And I really don't want to overtake on the, um, caris on the carousel. He's... We have two trucks. It's, oh! That was painful. That was very painful. We had one guy run wide thinking, oh, I'm going to recover it back on the track, and then he just gets freaking annihilated by this other truck who's trying to... who also outbreaks himself. Ow! That looked very painful. <laughs> Is he... He's not moving. Is he okay? Is we, are we going to have like a safety car, safety truck? There is actually like a safety truck, which I find quite amusing. Because he's just sort of chilling there. <laughs> um. Is he okay? Oh, yeah, he's okay. I, I, I want to see what happened to him, to be honest. Why do I have a penalty? I haven't done anything. Or is that, like, the distance to the truck ahead? That might be the distance to the truck ahead. I'm running wide. Okay, focus. Keep pushing. Nope. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ah. I mean, it's a three second deficit. I don't know if we'll be able to make that up. My only goal at this point is to not spin out. So far, knocking on wood, we've, we have achieved that accomplishment, but we are under immense pressure. We're gonna run wide off the track. We, it, we're, we were sort of on the track. Sort of. We have not actually had a core cool brakes down too much this race. It's been pretty straightforward on the whole braking department. I've gotten a lot better at managing these few races, managing my brakes. I'm not catching them at all. However, we are at least not losing positions. And who knows, maybe they'll, you know, die at the carousel again. I, I want to see what happened to that truck. Why was it stuck there for so long? Water tank half empty. Yeah, we're at the halfway point. That's fine. Can you not... I, I say, can you not push me into the corner? Yep, someone died. We had another death. Another death in the background. Quite a few deaths, it looked like. I'm distracted and I'm going to lose the back end if I'm not careful. <laughs> that is that is a genuine defensive tactic. Just drift your way around the corner so that they uh, cannot overtake you. 
Okay. We have some la- How am I in fourth? I was in fifth. Where did I get an overtake for fourth? I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna complain, but someone definitely died on the carousel again. Can I make- that's my goal. Can I make it around the- nope, he's gone. He's moving, damn it. Oh, a little bit of a drift. We are pulling away from him though, that is good, we're pulling away. That's the important thing. Brakes are overheating, don't care, they'll cool down in this section. This section is not heavy under brakes. There we go, that's not too bad. It's not a great apex, but it's not terrible. Yep, water tank almost empty. I'm not too fussed about it, to be perfectly honest. We actually are keeping our brakes alive. We're keeping him at bay. We're in fourth, apparently. Maybe we might even get third if this guy, you know, dies on the carous on the um, corkscrew again. I keep wanting to call it the carousel. This that's the Nurburgring. Oh god, can you imagine the Nurburgring, um, like the full Norse life and these things? I would pay to see that. That would be spectacular. We're gonna cover the inside. No, screw you. Screw you. <laughs> You're not going past. <laughs> There's not even a chance of you going past, god damn it. Oi. That was a that was not a great line through there. But it was a line. Someone else I think has died. Um yep, we have had another death of the carousel. I've nearly rolled my truck. We've had two people die on the carousel this time. He's gonna go up the inside. I'm out of water. He's up the inside, but he will not have the run! We will get fourth. Nicely done. We didn't spin out. We got the best position of our career. I will take it all day long. I want to see what happened to that guy. So if we just fast forward, can I change person? No, I can't change person. Damn it. Okay. What happened on... I, I sort of saw it in the peripheral. I want to see what happened properly. Alright, so... How... Can I... Oh, I see. Okay. I was like, hey, what? Alright, so, they, they, he pit maneuvers him, basically. He pit maneuvers him into the wall, and then, BAM! That's what happened, it was three of them. Oh, and then one guy, oh, one guy entered the corner backwards, that's never what you want to do, you see in the background, those lights are not facing the right way. Oh, so he just got stuck. He didn't, I thought he might have rolled it or something. He just got stuck after, you know, entering the corner the wrong way around. That was as maniac, as maniacal as I thought it would be. <laughs> that was good fun. I do like this game. It has some flaws, mainly the oversteer and the lack of feedback in the controller. But you can get used to that. It's not too terrible. You saw I was getting used to it more and more there. It's a different type of racing game. I love the water strategy element where you have to manage the water level. I think that's very, very interesting. Not You don't see that too often because you don't really need to see it that often. But I think it's a great game. And for free, you can't really beat it. That is it for me, and I'll be back with more 